Well, for whatever reason, the recording is not kicking in here, so just give me a moment, please. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer on this sixth Tuesday of Easter and another Rogation Day. For those of you who pray the office using the Book of Common Prayer, morning prayer begins as usual on page 80, followed by the Pascha Nostrum on page 83. Today's Psalms are 35 and 36, beginning on page 629. And the canticles are 13 and 18 on pages 90 and 93. This Thursday is the Feast of the Ascension on the church calendar, which marks 40 days after Easter and the day that Christ was taken up into heaven. Ascension Thursday commemorates a specific event in the life of the church, but the three days preceding it, Monday through Wednesday, also have a special place in the life of the church, and they're known as rogation days. The, ro the word rogation comes from the Latin verb rogare, meaning to ask, which reflects the beseeching of God for a special blessing. Traditionally, the congregation of a local church will walk the boundaries of its land and ask God for seasonable conditions that will permit the growing of crops. We are asking God to bestow us with the conditions that we need for flourishing. It's our tradition and custom here at Church of the Atonement to light a candle, regardless of where we may be, signifying the presence of God in our mind. has already been lit. If that's part of your practice, I invite you to do that now. We'll take just a moment and begin with morning prayer on the sixth Tuesday of Easter and Rogation Day as, of course, we brace for yet another long reading from Leviticus. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalms 35 and 36, beginning on page 629. Fight those who fight me, O Lord. Attack those who are attacking me. Take up shield and armor and rise up to help me. Draw the sword and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and humbled. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be dismayed. Let them be like chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord drive them away. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have secretly spread a net without a cause. Without a cause, they have dug a pit to take me alive. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they hid. Let them fall into the pit they dug. Then I will be joyful in the Lord. I will glory in his victory. 
My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those who are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Malicious witnesses rise up against me. They charge me with matters I know nothing about. They pay me evil in exchange for good. My soul is full of despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth and humbled myself by fasting. I prayed with my whole heart as one would for a friend or a brother. I behaved like one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and grieving. But when I stumbled, they were glad and gathered together. They gathered against me. Strangers whom I did not know tore me to pieces and would not stop. They put me to the test and mocked me. They gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from the roaring beasts and my life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me. Nor let those who hate me without a cause wink at each other. For they do not plan for peace but invent deceitful schemes against the quiet in the land. They opened their mouths at me and said, Aha, we saw it with our own eyes. You saw it, O Lord, do not be silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Awake, arise to my cause. To my defense, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them triumph over me. Do not, the, do not let them say in their hearts, Aha, just what we want. Do not let them say we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my ruin be ashamed and disgraced. Let those who boast against me be clothed with dismay and shame. Let those who favor my cause sing out with joy and be glad. Let them say always, great is the Lord who desires the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall be talking of your righteousness. And of your praise all the day long. There is a voice of rebellion deep in the heart of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He flatters himself in his own eyes that his hateful sin will not be found out. The words of his mouth are wicked and deceitful. He has left off acting wisely and doing good. He thinks up wickedness upon his bed and has set himself in no good way. He does not abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. See how they see how they are fallen, those who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Say to the people of Israel, You shall make for yourselves no idols, and erect no carved images or pillars. You shall not place figured stones in your land to worship at them. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you follow my statutes and keep my commandments and observe them faithfully, I will give you your rains in their season, and the land shall yield its produce, and the trees of the fields shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall overtake the vintage, and the vintage shall overtake the sowing. You shall eat your bread to the full and live securely in your land. I will grant peace in the land and you shall lie down and no one shall make you afraid. I will remove dangerous animals from the land and no sword shall go through your land. You shall give chase to your enemies and they shall fall before you by the sword. Five of you shall give chase to a hundred and a hundred of you shall give chase to ten thousand. Your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. I will look with favor upon you and make you fruitful and multiply you, and I will maintain my covenant with you. You shall eat old grain long stored, and you shall have to clear out the old to make way for the new. I will place my dwelling in your midst, and I shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you and will be your God, and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be their slaves no more. I have broken the bars of your yoke and made you walk erect. But if you will not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, if you spurn my statutes and abhor my ordinances, that you will not observe all my commandments and you break my covenant, I in turn will do this to you. I will bring terror on you, consumption and fever that waste the eyes and cause life to pine away. You shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be struck down by your enemies. Your foes shall rule over you, and you shall flee through, though no one pursues you. And if in spite of this you will not obey me, I will continue to punish you sevenfold for your sins. I will break your proud glory, and I will make your sky like iron and your earth like copper. Your strength shall be spent to no purpose. Your land shall not yield its produce, and the trees of the land shall not yield their fruit. Here ends the reading. A song of praise, Canticle 13, on page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. First of all, then, I urge the supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable, peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. Here ends the reading. A Song to the Lamb, Canticle 18, on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. 
And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed on page 96, followed by the Lord's Prayer and Suffrages A on page 97. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you continually increase your church by the birth of new sons and daughters in baptism. Grant that they may be obedient all the days of their life to the rule of faith which they received in that sacrament through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, in his earth, earthly life, shared our toil and hallowed our labor. Be present with your people where they work. Make those who carry on the industries and commerce of this land responsive to your will. And give to us all a pride in what we do and a just return for our labor through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now come to the prayers on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement and the wider church. Can we offer whatever prayer, petitions, and thanksgivings you have, either silently or aloud? If you have a particular prayer request, you can put it in the chat feature. I will do my best to get to it through the course of the prayers which are about to follow. And these are the prayers for the week of May 5th through the 11th. For the sick, for those in any need or trouble, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, Carol R., Cheryl, Jolene, Beth, Sean, Jonathan, Devin, Killian, Dennis, Mark, former President Carter, King Charles, Princess Kate, Arun, all with COVID-19, Kelly, Graham, and Catherine, Carol, Ryan B., Shelby, all who mourn, especially Elizabeth, prayers for the Tagawa and Nagashima families, Eleanor Francis, religious, Ken, Deacon, David, Christine, and Christine will be having brain surgery this week. Paul, Thomas, and Greg, priests. 
for an end to war, remembering especially the people of Gaza, Israel, the West Bank, Sudan, Ukraine, Russia, Iran, and Yemen, for all victims of violence, assault, and crime, for all migrants and those seeking asylum, those struggling with depression, anxiety, or addiction, for all healthcare workers, and in this National Nurses Week, especially for Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica K, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Carrie, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily, for all families and children in this city and state, for all expectant parents, and for all prisoners. For members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott, serving in security in Iraq. For Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Amanda and Dave, our wardens, for the members of our vestry, for our sister parishes of St. Benedict's and St. Matthew's in Chiapas, Mexico, for the upcoming baptism on Pentecost of Burhan, for the wedding anniversary, I'm sorry, for the wedding May 1st of Rob Kleinschmidt and Will Claggett, the first anniversary yesterday of the coronation of King Charles III. For the birthdays of Patrick Ibergen, Terry Ashby, David Collins, Larry Foster, Tim Fox, Tom Hart, the wedding anniversary of Dennis Figura and Rodney Coots. And we pray for the departed, remembering Mary Lowy, Frank Stella, Mark Schnell, Ricky Grant, all who have died of gun violence, all who have died in war. And at the anniversary of their deaths for Mildred Leonard, Father Sheldon Foote, Gregory Walter Clacota, Vivian Boggs Cox, Stella Viola Klein, Angela Benitez, George Villan Jr., Edna Vick, Sherla Lawler, and John Phillips. And we offer this prayer for peace. O loving God, your Son, Jesus Christ, came into the world to do your will and leave us his peace. Through the intercession and example of Blessed Mary, Queen of Peace, grant us the wisdom and humility to reflect that peace to the world. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The General Thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace, and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That concludes morning prayer on this sixth Tuesday of Easter and another Rogation Day. Thanks so much for being here with us this morning. We're here every morning on Google Meet at 8.30 a.m. for morning prayer. This is Tuesday. There's a Mass today at noon. Evening prayer at 5.30, also on Google Meet. On Wednesday, a Mass at 7 p.m., Thursday at noon, Friday morning at 7.30, Saturday, the Rosary at 9.30 a.m., followed by the Healing Mass at 10, and on Sunday, our usual round of services at 8, 9, and 11. Well, according to the weather, we're supposed to have big storms today, so if you're out and about, do be careful. Have yourself a great day, everyone. God bless. Stay safe out there.